Consider the expression x to the power 5 multiplied by x to the power 3. Recall that that line is a bar fraction. And it simply indicates that you need to divide the numerator by the denominator. So it means division. Well, let's write out x to the power 5 and x to the power 3 in, as an expanded repeated multiplication. x to the power 5 would be given by the numerator. And x to the power 3 would be given as the denominator. Now, when we divide and multiply an expression by the same number, we really change nothing. And here we're doing that three times. We're multiplying by x and dividing by x. Then multiplying by x and dividing by x and multiplying by x and dividing by x. Since we change nothing, we can just get rid of three of those multiplications and divisions. Simply cross them out. We are then left with x times x over 1. It's really important to remember that when you cross everything out in the denominator, as we've done up here, you leave yourself with 1 in the denominator of your result. Of course, whenever we have anything divided by 1, we will just leave that as the number itself. So we have x multiplied by x. We add those exponents of 1, which are imaginary, and we get to our exponent of 2. So, x to the power 5 divided by x to the power 3 is equal to x to the power 2. How would 5, 3, and 2 be repeated? Hit pause right now and take a second to think about it. When you're ready to go on and figure out what's going on with this relationship, hit play. Now let's take a look at the actual rule for dividing powers with the same base. When we have powers with identical bases, that means that both bases are the same, A and A. If we have this specific situation, we simply subtract the exponents and keep the same base. So we'll keep our base of A and we'll take our exponent b from the numerator and take away c in the denominator from that. It's important that you do that order and not the other way around. a to the power b minus c is not equal to a to the power c minus b. Those are not the same. Let's examine some examples of this. 3 to the power 11 divided by 3 to the power 2. Here we have the same base, so we'll write out our new base. We have 11 on the numerator, so we'll ensure that we write that first, and 2 in the denominator, so we'll subtract 2 from our exponent. When we simplify, we end up with 3 to the power 9. And again, recall that this result is simply in exponential form. I can ask you to get out your calculator and put it into standard form. Next example. We're dealing with variables now. The rules for variables are the exact same as the rules for numbers. Here we have a different thing though. We've got two different variables. We can only divide powers of the same base. We cannot divide the power that has the base y. 
it's a different base. So we start by writing out the bases that will remain in our question. We'll have a base x and a base y. The exponent from the x portion of the question in the numerator is 4. And in the denominator, remember, if there's nothing there, it's a 1. And the exponent from the y is 1. When we simplify, this will work out to be x to the 3 and then y to the power 1. But again, just remember, whenever you have an exponent to the power 1, we usually don't write it. The next example sort of incorporates the last law that we learned about multiplying powers with this new law about dividing powers. When we're multiplying powers, remember we add the exponents. So that's the first step we have to do at the top. So I'm just going to examine the numerator. So I'll have 7 as my base and then 2 plus 4 will leave me with 7 to the power 6. I haven't done anything to the denominator, so I should leave it the same, 7 to the power 3. Now I have a simple division problem. I know the base is a 7, and I subtract the exponents, 6 minus 3. And I'm left with 7 to the power 3. 